In my last video, I showed a very quick, simple, easy way to handle multi-level buildings using the multi-level token tool. But there's some additional functionality to it because what I didn't go over is how to handle if there's balconies or if tokens need to be displayed on multiple levels at the same time. So that's what we're going to cover in this video. Let's jump right in. So as we had talked about how, what something we could do last time is, so there's some stairs here, walk up those stairs, and bam, he walks upstairs. Unfortunately, there's not a way to get the camera to automatically snap that I've been able to find. If you hit the arrows, it'll adjust the camera though. Anyway, he no longer sees that token that should be right here. So how can we get this token to be right here and show right there? Super easy. Very similar to what we did before. You're just gonna take the draw tool and we are going to highlight this open area. Double click on it and click over to multi-level. Uh, it's the multi-level token mod that I talked about in the last video. And if some of these basics that I've done so far, you don't know how to do, you can click over and watch that one. I'll put a link in the description. So for this one, we do not want to teleport in and out. What we want to do is mark this one as our source. And I'm just going to call this the Davern. And we can hit update. Uh, so for some of these other things right here, you can check this if you want to keep everything on this local scene. So we'll go ahead and do that. Then I'm gonna, you can draw another square or you can just copy this one, paste it over. Oops, it copied my stairs too. I already have those, don't need another set. And taking this, on this one though, we have to switch over to target, not source. This right here is, uh, well, I'll show you what it looks like first and then we'll talk about adjustments for it. So when I hit save, now you'll see it creates a clone of that which is a little bit darker. So you can see the same thing on the player's view. And if I were to move the one downstairs, then you see it kind of bouncing around. So from this view, you can see if I highlight this one and I move it around, it moves the clone around, which they see. You also see that it is grayed out. So if you don't like it being grayed out or you want to make some adjustments to it, that's what this here does. So let's say we want to make them look red so you can do whatever you want with them. But I do like the, uh, I like to leave it just as the standard. Now that's working. If this, if this player now walks downstairs, oops, they will bounce downstairs. There was something that happened there. There's something that happened there that's a little bit of an issue with this method. <sighs> and that is the lack of being able to snap to the clone. And sometimes you'll run into this thing where when you move the token down here, it'll try to reset the player's screen to look at the clone as well, which is very annoying when it does that. And there's a solution. The solution is pretty easy, though still not my favorite. Uh, we can take this stuff right here. We can copy this and on a separate scene. So I just titled this one uh, Blue Water in Upper. We can come over here and we can paste it down here into a completely separate scene, which will actually fix some of those issues. The only thing is every time they go upstairs, it'll have to load a new scene. So if you have players with really slow computers or connections, just keep that in mind. Um, so let me just delete this really quick. If he walks on it, it's not gonna work. Do you know why it's not gonna work? Nothing happened. Even from the player's view, nothing happens when they walk upstairs. And that's because if you recall earlier, we said scene local. This one is no longer scene local. I do want to be able to snag those stairs though. There we go, not scene local. And then I'm gonna drag this back. And we'll want to come over here to this one as well. Actually, does it even matter? Uh, no, it doesn't even matter. Look, they're already showing up. It's gonna teleport. So from the player's view, we'll see it teleport him over. Though I suspect, oh, I didn't actually put the put the walls up on this one. Doesn't matter. I suspect though, it will not teleport him back. Yeah. Um, and then I have to click over here, select these stairs and they are not local. All right, so now the player is able to snap back over here. And when they walk up the stairs again, it should teleport them right back. And they still see this token where this token could move around and they still see him. Very easy way to do that. All right. 
super easy. You might be like, there's still a few clunky things. This isn't super smooth. And you are absolutely correct. There is a way to make this even more immersive, smoother, because these maps, like, let's be real, are the way that the players connect with the world. And this is one of your main tools for immersion. This is a very quick, easy way to solve the multi-level map problem quickly. So, you know, you got 10 minutes before your game and you need to throw some stuff together. Awesome tool. If you're the type of dungeon master that puts in the work beforehand, you just want the best immersion, the best experience for your players, your group, then go ahead and subscribe because shortly I will be putting out the in-depth, detailed video using some different mods and tools uh, showing how you can accomplish that. Thank you for watching. See you next time.